hi guys thank you for clicking on this video my name is Cindy Fred and you're welcome to my youtube channel so today I'll be showing you how to crochet a pencil skirt with a split and I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial so let's get into the video so for this project we'll be doing a demo we won't be doing the actual skirt for demonstration purposes I'll be using a three millimeter crochet hook and two colors color A and color B so to start, we we'll make a slip knot and we'll chain 15 plus 2. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 plus 2, 1, and 2. Now we're going to go back down with a half double crochet so you yarn over insert your hook into the third chain from the hook you yarn over insert your hook into the third chain pull through make sure you have three loops on your hook you pull through or two loops so let's go right again you yarn over insert your hook pull through make sure you have three loops on your hook and pull through all three loops so that's the half double crochet and we'll be making half double crochets till we get to the end of this row. So I'll meet you at the end of this row. So I'm at the end of this row and I'm going to finish off with my half double crochet. So after you're done, make sure you have 15 on this row, chain two, turn your work, and we are going to work through the back loop. We are going to work in the back loop only. So you yarn over and pull through all three loops. You yarn over, insert your hook to the back loop and pull through all three loops. So this is supposed to be for the waistband. So go ahead and finish this row. Don't forget to always work in the back loop and I'll meet at the end of this row. So I'm at the end of the second row. So at the end of this row, you chain to one, two, turn your work, your work into the back loop again with a half double crochet. So go ahead and finish this to the desired length go ahead and repeat this process and make as many rows as possible to fit your waist size and add about two or three more inches to it so for this i think i made 62 rows for size small but it depends on everybody's waist so go ahead and finish and because I'll be doing a demo, that's what I have. So when you have the desired length for the waistband, you join it. You join your waistband with a slip stitch. So you just... So you insert your hook into the space and pull to turn your work and ins continue to make a slip stitch in every hole like what I'm doing in the video So after you join with a slip stitch, you turn, you make sure you're working on the right side. So you're going to go all around with a single crochet. So you chain one. And go into each hole with a, sim 
a single crochet. So I'm at the end. So as I had done, you join with a slip stitch and you chain two. Now you're going to go all around with a half double crochet. So you yarn over and set your hook and pull through all three loops. Yarn over and set a hook and pull through three. So that's why I have to double crochet. So go ahead and go all around with a half double crochet. So this is row one. So we are at the end of row one. And we are about to finish up. So there's always this last stitch there. Make sure you go into it to keep a straight line. After you're done, join with a slip stitch and chain two and repeat row one. And we, are, we will repeat row one for about seven times, making it eight rows of how double crochet. So go ahead and make eight rows in total. So I'm at the end of row 8 and I'm about to finish up. So always make sure you enter this stitch that doesn't look like a half double crochet. That will keep your line straight and so join with the slip stitch. So now we are going to start increasing on the sides. So for right now you chain 2 and you mark your sides with a stitch marker. Or a safety pin. Then you you double. Then you have double crochet till you get to your marked place. So when you get to your mark place, you are going to insert two half double crochet into the same space, so one and two, and continue to half double crochet till you get to your second marked place, and do the same thing. So we have the second marked place and we are going to go in with two half double crochets into the same hole. Then continue normally. So we are at the end of row 9 and for 10 you chain 2. And this is what we have so far. So for row 10, you're going to have double crochet all around without increasing. 
So we are going to increase for five times. So for row nine, which we already increased, row eleven, row thirteen, row fifteen, and row seventeen. And for row 10, 12, 14, and 16, we are going to have double crochet without increasing. So I've done only 12 rows and it should be looking something like this. So after you are done increasing for the um, increasing for about about five rows you end with three normal rows without increasing so I'm going to finish up one I just finished and on increase row so yeah so I'm not going to complete this but you get the idea and after you add three non-increase rule which is rule 18 19 and 20 you increase for three rules so you have let's assume you have done 20 rules because you end on rule 20 and if you want more rules if you think the sketch is short and you want more rules you add more rules to it and you change to you come to decrease so we take our stitch from our car again, which is our safety pin, and mark. But if you have a stitch marker, just pull out a yarn like this. That's if you don't have a stitch marker, so that you know. So we are come to decrease. So I'm going to show you how I decrease. So we start off normally. Okay, we are at the place where you mark, so you insert your hook, yarn, that's that. so you yarn over, insert your hook, pull through, then put, put your hook into the next hole, yarn over, pull through, that's how you decrease. Then you continue, so I'm going to show you how I decrease one more time. Yarn over, insert a hook, pull to you have three loops. Insert a hook into the next hole, pull, we shall have four loops. Then you pull to or four, and this is row 21. So you decrease till you get to row, okay, you decrease and you decrease for row 21 and you make a normal row for row 22, then you decrease for row 23, so you decrease three times. Okay, so we are where we marked for the second time and I'm going to show you how to decrease again. So you are about inside the hook to the next row, row 2 or 3. And go ahead and finish up.
you want your back line to be straight, don't forget to always insert your hook into the last little bit, which makes an increase. So, yeah, you chain two and four. So, you're going to bring in the skirt and for row 22. You just double crochet normally along so i'll meet you at the end of row 26 because you decrease our row 23 and 25 okay because i did two increases i did two decreases and this is looking long and We are going to start with a split, with a split. So I tie it down rows twenty six, not twenty five. Cuts. Here I am. does it because I'm on wrap it I'm not tightening too hard and you determine where you want your split to be I want to be when just get on the left side so this line is for the back so make sure it's in the middle you turn and because I want my split to be on the left side I'll be marking it here so So you chain one and then we'll decrease. So you yarn over and insert your hook, pull two, insert your hook into the next space, pull two all the loops and continue to have double crochet. So we are at the end of the swing, we are going to decrease. So yarn over, insert your hook, pull to insert your hook in the next space, pull to all the loops, chain two, and turn your work. So we decrease into this the same space we decrease into at the beginning. Then when you turn your work, you decrease again. Then you continue to have double crochet. So you decrease at the beginning and the end of the rows for about eight times. So you decrease and you decrease at the end and the beginning for row twenty seven to thirty four. We are at the end of this one. I want to show you how to decrease one more time. So you yarn over, insert your hook, pull through, insert your hook into the next space, then pull through all loops. Turn your work. So go ahead and decrease at the end and the beginning of each row for eight times. So for row 27 to 20, for 27 to 34, sorry. 
So let's assume you are done with row 34 and your row 35. We are going to have double crochet normally without decreasing three, for three times. So for row 35, row 36, and row 37, we are not going to decrease. And this is what it should look like. So we are at the end of this row and we are not going to end with a decrease, we are going to end normally. And this is what our split looks like. So this is how your split should be looking when you are doing the actual skirt. So after you chain one and cut off your yarn, and we are going to add our color B for the last row. And you just pull through. So this is our color B. And for color B, we are going to be doubling the strands as well. So you make a slip knot and you attach your yarn. So I'll be weaving in my ends as I crochet along and we are going to be making single crochets all around. So for a single crochet, you insert your hook yarn over pull through all two loops. So we are at the end and for the edge, we are going to insert two single crochets into the same space. And continue to single crochet. So after you are done, you just cut off your yarn and this is what we have. This is a mini demo of our skirt and I try to make this video as short as possible because it's a demo. It's just for demonstration purposes and after you make a long chain and you just attach it to your waistband. And if you want to know how or you want a video of how I made my tassel, please comment in the comment section down below and I'll be happy to make a video for you. So this is how the waistband looks like after I attach my string. So once I make a chain, you just attach it with your hook. So if you would like for me to make a video of the actual skirts, 
making the full video please leave it in the comment section down below and i'll be happy to make a video for you thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to comment subscribe like and share and i'll see you in the next video